Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, why would a man stay in an unhealthy relationship? Why would a man stay in, excuse me, in an unhappy relationship? Unhealthy, unhappy, kind of goes either way, right? Uh, really quickly, if uh, you've been interested in hiring a coach, but you go, God, I just can't afford it, check out my link below to my VIP group. Uh, just click the link, read what's in there. If you would like to have direct access to me and ask questions on a regular basis, check out the link below so you can have access to me. All right. Why would a man stay in an unhappy relationship? This is actually a question that happens to come across my desk often, or at least in the comments. They're like, why would a man do that? And, and I, it seems like a, an obvious question, or not an obvious question, but a, a question that surprises me because I guess my question is, why would a woman stay in an unhappy relationship? Why would anyone want to stay in an unhappy relationship? But what's so fascinating to me and what I'm going to go deeper in today is that men are often uh, of being accused of commitment phobic, of being unable to commit. And yet what's so interesting is that over two thirds of divorces are initiated by women. They are the ones who initiate it. In fact, men, it probably is even higher than that. Women probably initiate divorces more like 80% of the time. It's because what men do is once they're in a relationship, they tend to nest. N-E-S-T, they nest. What it means is so long as they're getting their bare minimum of needs met, their bare minimum of needs net, they met, they rarely go out and seeking um, attention elsewhere. Now, that's not to say that um, highly sexually driven men might not go seek sex elsewhere or women for that matter. I mean, my content isn't singular to men, even though the titles are, because everything I say can go both ways. But, um, well, I am saying, let me retract that, <laughs> because I am saying men stay in relationships more than women. But I want you to understand this a little bit deeper because if you're not following the work of Esther Perel, you want to read the book Mating in Captivity by Esther Perel. <laughs> Mating in Captivity because she talks about, not so much in the book, but in her work, you want to Google stable ambiguity, stable ambiguity. And what that is is human beings will stay in a relationship so long as their bare minimum needs get met because the, the alternative means that they're going to be single. If they, I mean, if they end the relationship and move on to another person. So many people, men and women alike, will stay in unhappy relationships. Furthermore, they'll stay in unhealthy relationships because it's better to have something than nothing. It's better to have something than nothing. And that's sad. That's sad that humans will do that. And usually because they are lacking something deep inside of them. And whether it's a man or a woman, they're lacking a real deep sense of self-love. Now, I know the word self-love might turn some people off, but I'm here to say self-love means self-worth, self-confidence, self-reliance, self-discipline. If you're not familiar with my book, what the heck is self-love anyway? I talk about this in the book. How do we, because when... A person doesn't love on themselves, they'll stay in a mediocre relationship. Ladies, you've been doing this for years, hoping that something will change, hoping that magic fairy dust will sprinkle and change our relationship. People will spend decades praying for change when the change is like, get the fuck out. I'm sorry, I'm being blunt, but you know what? Nobody should stay in an unhappy relationship. And sadly, no one should definitely stay in an unhealthy relationship. It's hard. Why is it hard? Because we've been so conditioned to believe that we, we need someone else to love us for us to feel good about ourselves. We need someone else to love us for us to feel good about ourselves. Let me see if I have my book, the book attached here. Um, excuse me. Attached, if you're not a familiar with love attachment style, please study this. Oftentimes, many of you women are staying in relationships 
because of a, of a childhood wound or trauma that makes you bond with a man who might be unhealthy with you. And when you learn about why this happens, you have an opportunity to ex extricate yourself from an unhealthy relationship. Certainly seek a therapist, seek professional help if, if it's that uh, traumatic of a relationship. But why would a man stay in an unhealthy relationship or an unhappy relationship? Because we tend to nest. And sadly, many men just put the bare minimum. And I'm here to encourage you to seek a relationship with a man. I, I did a, um, a video recently called um, only date this kind of man. You should only date this kind of man. And, and whether it's uh, coming out before or after this video, I don't know when. But definitely check this out because that's my invitation for you. Don't you choose an unhealthy... Who gives a fuck why a man stays in an unhealthy relationship? In fact, when I'm asked that, I'm like, why do you care that they do? You should be caring why would you stay in an unhealthy relationship? And chances are because you're choosing stable ambiguity. And please don't do that anymore. Okay? I've been told I'm like a father yelling at you. I'm very parental in the way I coach. Because I'm like, I want to shake you up. I yell oftentimes as a wake-up call. And I'm here to suggest to wake up and choose yourself. Choose loving on yourself because then you won't be choosing unhappy relationships. Oh, boy. I was so excited I said a mouthful. All right, I think you get the gist of where I'm going with all this. Love on yourself because who cares if a guy chooses an unhappy relationship? What matters most is what you're going to do to choose a happy relationship for yourself. And that's what I want you to do is choose a happy relationship for yourself. Okay? All right. All right. Uh, hey, listen, you probably have something to say on this video. Please write a comment below. If you're new to my YouTube channel, click the subscribe button, hit the bell. And if you don't know me, I'm going to wrap my videos. I wrap up my videos as I always do, giving myself first a big gigantic hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the screen and give you a hug of love. And I'm going to ask you to turn to someone around you and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can use a lot more love in our lives. Thanks so much and wishing you a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.